Apple shuttering a third-party app that allowed Android devices to use iMessage. The messaging service exclusive to iPhones is something Google has long called on regulators to act upon. Our Deirdre Bosa spoke to the app CEO for today's Tech Check. Morning, Dee. Carl, good morning, and congratulations to you and Sarah on Money Movers. It looks great, and we kick off a new Tech Check look as well with a new frontier in one of the biggest fights in tech of the last decade. It's a look, too, the blue versus the green bubble. Most people know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're messaging with an Android user on your iPhone, their message shows up in a green bubble. Features are missing, like read receipts, media quality gets distorted, group chat issues. It is annoying for both sides, yet this divide persists, has persisted for many years. That is, until last week, there finally seemed to be a solution. A startup called Beeper found a workaround. Android users were suddenly and seamlessly sending blue bubbles and group chats automatically switched over to iMessage. I spoke this morning to Beeper CEO Eric Migakovsky. He told me that the app hit 100,000 downloads 48 hours after its launch, and at $2 a month, it equated to a million dollars in annualized run rate. But then on Friday, hit, something else hit, and as fast as the app caught on, it was shut down by Apple, which said that it was a security issue and it was trying to protect the privacy and security of their iMessages. Migakoski tells me that Apple's statement is, quote, completely false and does the opposite. He argues Beeper Mini makes communication more secure between iPhones and Androids. Senator Elizabeth Warren has weighed in also, posting, big tech executives are protecting profits by squashing competitors. Now, it does raise the question, why would Apple resist better integration if security wasn't an issue? Well, there may be some clues, perhaps, from other battles that Apple is fighting. An email from Apple exec Craig Frederighi in 2013 on potential integration. He says, I'm concerned the iMessage on Android would simply serve to remove an obstacle to iPhone families giving their kids Android phones. He said, I think we need to get Android customers using and dependent on Apple products. So in other words, guys, iMessage and green bubble stigma, that could be a way of locking users into the Apple ecosystem, a way for Apple to protect its walled garden. Now, as of right now, the workaround at Beeper Mini still isn't working. I just tested it out. But I'm hearing that there will be some developments later today. I will be watching, and I'm going to guess, guys, that regulators, they will be watching closely as well.